This is the second screencast in entering marks and then submitting term grades for the MYP using ManageBack. This year we are using ManageBack for our interim reports, so they'll be generated out of here, which means that uh, you need to enter your marks, which was that previous screencast, uh, but then also submit your term grades. So this is looking at how you actually submit the term grades. So once again, I've logged into ManageBack. I'm uh, going to come to my class that I'm using. So I've got this trial class in the MYP. And um, then I'm going to go to the submitting the term grades bit. So when I click on that, it tells me it gives me a bit of an overview of what's going on. Um, if I click to tasks, that'll bring up the tasks that I've had and it will give me a bit of an agenda when they came in. Um, and then if I come to my grade book, you'll see that's where my grade book is. So that's where I've entered my marks. So if I wanted to, I can check that my marks are there. Then underneath it is submit term grades. So if I click on submit term grades, this is the second step. And what it does is manage back collates the marking that you have done across all those tasks and brought it into a spot where you can have a look at. Um, we don't want to have any comments in here, so you can unclick that so there's no comments. So in the interim report you have no comments, so you don't need to put anything there. The, uh, the interim report that we're printing actually doesn't have that field anyway, so you, you don't need to have that comment tab ta ticked if you want. Um, you can just have it there if you want and leave it blank, but that's up to you. So the way this works is that ManageBack looks at the criteria you've assessed and then works out on average, by just using an averaging thing, where that should be in terms of uh, a 0 to, to 8 scale. So you might know that uh, your first test here, the blue one, was uh, quite uh, quite easy. The second one might have been apps really, really, really hard. Uh, and the third one could have been a bit easier as well. Now this other one here, this might have had this, the second one might have had some really high level thinking stuff in there that was really complex. So instead of being a three overall, you might actually say, well, actually, I think that's about a four. So you can manage that as well. So same with D, you're applying, this is the applying mathematics. It might have been a really easy way of doing that. So you might have thought, well, instead of a six, which is pulling that up, because that last task wasn't as um, complex in terms of the higher level thinking that you were addressing, then you can possibly come back and bring it to that. And then that will then moderate the mark for you as well. So it does all the other calculations for you, adds them up and gives you that final MYP grade. Remembering this is an interim report. On the right hand side is your learning approach and you can pick whichever learning approach that applies to that student uh, and he can go very good as well. And that will get a bunch of processes, it saved it. And the rest of your class will be below this and you keep on going down like that. Once you've done that, you actually have submitted your term grades. Uh, if you want to come back and change that, you can. Um, so it doesn't kind of just lock it away forever, but it's, uh, it basically allows you to kind of work through systematically. So you do that for all your classes that you have in the MYP, and that is how you submit your term grades.